And it starts with breaking news. Crews are searching for a plane that disappeared today after taking off from the Tahoe Truckee Airport. Good evening. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrian Moore. The plane was heading to Petaluma, but never made it. The FAA says only the pilot was on board. Air crews from the CHP and the Civil Air Patrol are now looking for the missing plane in Sierra County between Weber and Jackson Meadows Lake, but say bad weather is hampering their efforts. Three people are dead tonight following a shooting spree in Fresno this morning. This is indeed a sad day for the city of Fresno. 39 year old Corey Ali Muhammad, who has ties to the Sacramento area, is now behind bars. He was also wanted for a murder last week. Police now saying the random attacks today were racially motivated. CBS 13's Angela Greenwood has been following this developing story and joining us now in the newsroom with the very latest. Angela. Adrian and Tony, there was some speculation early on that this may have been an act of terrorism. Police now, though, say that's not the case. But either way, they say three innocent people lost their lives today. Uh, we believe it is a hate crime, uh, definitely a hate crime. The shooting rampage spanned a block and a half in downtown Fresno. In a minute's time, police say 39 year old Corey Ali Muhammad shot at four different white men and killed three of them. One victim, a 34 year old PGE worker sitting in a work truck who leaves behind a wife and two young children. We lost uh, a member of our family. It's hit us all very hard. Muhammad was arrested minutes after the last shots were fired. Uh, he yelled out uh, Ali Akbar as he was seated in the back seat of the patrol car, which obviously uh, prompted some concerns in, in terms of what his motive may have been. Fresno Police Chief Jerry Dyer says there's no indication the murders were tied to terrorism and says instead it appears to be solely based on race. He refers to Muhammad's Facebook page and posts about disliking white people. We've also learned Muhammad attended high school and college in the Sacramento area and has an extensive criminal history here, including federal drug and weapons charges. Officers say he admitted to the crimes committed today. Uh, those statements uh, were, I did it. Uh, I shot them. He uh, identified himself to Officer Borrego as Corey Mohammed and said, You guys are looking for me. Muhammad had been on the run since last Thursday night after allegedly gunning down a 25 year old security guard at a Fresno Motel 6. This is indeed a sad day for the city of Fresno. And it's hard for me to find the words. And Mohammed will be charged with four counts of murder among several other crimes. The FBI is now assisting in this case. Mm, just an awful story. All right, Angela, thanks so much for reporting live for us in our newsroom. And CBS 13 will continue to monitor this developing situation and bring you the latest both on the air and, of course, on our website, CBS13.com.